Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy Friday friends, it is Friday, the weekend is here. Today we're going to talk all about how my week was, we're going to set some goals moving into the first full week of December literally blows my mind every single time I think about the fact that number one, we're only a few weeks away from Christmas and number two, it is almost 2022. That is absolutely crazy. We're going to talk all about this week's WW workshop topic and of course I'll be sharing this week's weigh-in which is my first official weigh-in of December. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. We do a weigh-in every single Friday. Check out that description box down below for my brand new 20 22 calendar. You guys, this is the this is the only calendar you need for 2022. It is a place to track not only your monthly goals, your daily life, but you can also track your self-care, food, water, and activity all in one really pretty calendar. So definitely check that out. Grab it while you can. It is limited edition. On my nutrition coaching website, you'll also find my four recipe eBooks as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want to talk with me directly and personalize to you macros and calories, highly recommend that service. If you want to know what you should be eating every day to lose weight, links, discounts to all my favorite things. And of course, don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. So let's jump in to today's weigh-in. Let me just tell you, it has been a week. It has been in insanely busy. One positive note is the weather here has been amazing. It has been sunny and in the 60s, which is absolutely unheard of for Washington State in pretty much December. So it's crazy that the weather has been so nice. I have been busy. I've been busy with real estate that is actually slowing down a little bit. Generally, November through the beginning of February is slower for us just because people are involved in the holidays and already stressed out enough getting ready for the holidays that they're not really thinking about buying a house. And in this area, nobody wants to move when there's snow on the ground. So it's generally a little bit slower time for real estate, which is good so that I can focus more on uploading lots of great content here on YouTube for you guys. It's just been busy planning that out, really thinking about my year end goals. I will be sharing some pretty fun videos with you guys this month. We're going to do a Trader Joe's holiday haul and taste test. We're going to talk all about my top 21 foods for 20. 21. I can't wait to share this with you guys. And then we're also going to set some goals for 2022 and I'm going to share my vision board and it is a brand new vision board and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. So stay tuned for all of those videos coming out in the month of December as well. I've still been able to go to Jazzercise. I've been two to three times a week, just kind of depending on the week, which I enjoy my physical activity and just getting in some movement every single week. I've done well with tracking. I've done well with my food. I've had a couple slip ups this week, which is like every other week, but overall I feel pretty confident in the foods that choices that I made as well as tracking my food and staying in a calorie deficit, which is the way that I've been able to lose weight. So before we jump into this week's weigh-in, let's chat a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic and it goes hand in hand with jazzercise or activity in general. And this is how to move your way to a better mood. And let me tell you from personal experience, every single time I do any type of physical activity. And it doesn't have to be jazzercise. It can be simply taking a walk. I always feel better and I'm in a better mood. It gets the serotonin going and my mood is just generally better after any type of activity. Also, don't forget that we do earn points that are deposited into our weeklies from the activity that we do that you can use on a special occasion or spread those out throughout the week. So there are a lot of benefits both with WW, weight loss and mood in general when it comes to activity. A lot of people say, I hate exercise. I don't want to exercise. And the truth of the 
the matter is you don't have to exercise to lose weight. As long as you're in a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. But as we mentioned, there are so many mood enhancing health benefits when it comes to getting in activity. Not necessarily sweating in the gym for an hour, but just getting in some activity. So if you're one of those people that hates exercise, think about what is a go-to activity for you? Are you someone that has to take your dog for a walk every day? And is that when you get in your activity? Or maybe you're like me and your mailbox is on the road and your house is set pretty far back off the road. Maybe just walking out and getting the mail every day is a little bit of extra activity that you can do. Think of things that are go-tos for you or that are things that are really doable. Number one is to choose that activity. Choose an activity that you enjoy or somewhat enjoy and an activity that will help give you that serotonin boost, that mood boost. Number two is be specific. This is really important. Don't just say, my activity is to take a walk. Well, when are you going to take a walk? How often and for how long? Be specific in setting that activity goal. And then number three is to pick a pace that feels comfortable for you. Now, it shouldn't be easy, but it should be comfortable. And we're gonna take baby steps. As we do activity more, we're going to be able to increase that pace and that intensity. But pick a pace that's doable for you right now. And as you get more into that particular movement or activity, start to think about doing that activity with a little bit more intensity or for a longer duration, but pick a pace that works for you. If you're thinking, Jen, I'm not gonna go to the gym, I'm not going to jazzercise, I'm not going to sweat and be miserable for an hour or longer, today's your lucky day. Research shows that you'll feel your best You'll stick with it longer and potentially even burn more calories if you do whatever activity you choose at your own pace. Everybody's pace is different. Pick the pace that works for you. You don't have to go sweat in the gym. You don't even have to go to the gym. Find an activity and pick a pace that works for you. And most importantly, is something you're going to stick with. Activity and exercise results are better over the long term. You feel better, you're stronger, you're healthier, you have more endurance the longer you do the activity. I know for me, I am not someone that likes to go to the gym. Never ever has, I've never enjoyed going. Now I've went out of obligation or because I needed to go, but I've never enjoyed it. And for me, I enjoy jazzercise. I look forward to my classes. I know I'm going to sweat. I know they're going to be hard. I know I'm going to be sore after, but I look forward to them. I've developed a great community at jazzercise, and that is one of the things that draws me to going. You have to find something that you enjoy or somewhat enjoy or something you look forward to doing, whether that's taking a walk in the evening with your husband or maybe your kids or even your dog or going to a class or finding a gym that you really feel comfortable at and enjoy. Find what you like, find your pace and stick with it. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I feel really good and confident in my week. Of course, I had a couple slip-ups. Who doesn't? Who doesn't have a couple slip-ups throughout the week? And by slip-ups, I mean higher calorie, higher point days. Those are compensated generally with weeklies and with activity, but I still consider those higher point or higher calorie regardless. So for my first weigh-in for the month of December, I am very, very, very happy to report that when I stepped on the scale, I am down 0.8 pounds. So this is almost an entire pound down, which means, drum roll please, I am officially 70 five pounds down. I can't believe I just said that out loud. I'm 75 pounds down. I get asked a lot how long I've been on my weight loss journey, how long I've been on WW. I have been on WW since 2019. I don't care that it's taken me till the end of 2021. I have lost 75 pounds. Wow. It's still crazy to say, it's crazy to see. My clothes, I've had to buy tons of new clothes. I am kind of on a low buy when it comes to clothes and we'll get into that more with my 2022 goals, but I've had to buy new clothes. Obviously with such substantial weight loss, I feel a lot better. I feel lighter on my feet. I feel healthier, suffer from the ailments that I had when I had 75 extra pounds on me. It's truly been amazing and it's, truly been a blessing and I'm really, really thankful for not only WW, but for the Lose It app and tracking calories and incorporating more real whole foods into my diet. I definitely, definitely feel 
so, so much better. Also, as you may know, I am in the process of having several tests and I have blood work coming up here on December 2nd to test my thyroid amongst a few other things. Most likely will be put on some type of regimen or medication that will help increase my thyroid function as well as my overall weight loss. So I have lots of goals moving into the next year. And of course, I'll be sharing those with you guys in that video, but I'm thrilled. I'm so happy to be 75 pounds down and I can't wait to see what 2022 brings my way. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments, how was your week? What do you think of this workshop topic? And let me know what's your favorite activity or exercise that you enjoy and that you find that you consistently do. And of course, leave anything you want down in the comments. Let me know how you guys are doing. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you enjoyed today's weigh-in workshop topic recap, setting some goals for next week, and hearing that I am 75 pounds down, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Again, check out that description box down below for my calendar. Don't forget to grab that while you can. My four recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you be part of that community as well. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's massive, and when I say massive, I mean massive grocery haul. Bye.